This chapter introduces concepts like signals, amplifiers, and basic models used in electronics to understand how modern circuits function. Example, imagine a megaphone. You speak softly into it, but it amplifies your voice so a large audience can hear. The chapter explains how such amplifiers work in circuits. Microelectronics. Explanation. This is about the tiny chips that power our modern devices. A example. The processor in your smartphone is a microelectronic circuit that manages everything, from running apps to taking photos. Core concept signals. Explanation. Signals carry information. They can be continuous, analog, or discrete, digital. Death example. Analog. Your voice over a phone call, a continuous wave. Digital. Texting a friend, where each letter is a discrete packet of data. Signal representations. Thevenin and Norton forms. Explanation. These are two ways to simplify how a circuit source is represented. An example. If a student wanted to light an LED, Thevenin's form would calculate how the LED behaves with a small resistor, while Norton's form focuses on the current. See frequency spectrum. Explanation. Signals can be broken into sine waves to understand their behavior. Example, think of a song. A guitar string vibrates to create sound at different frequencies, high and low notes. The Fourier series explains how the sound combines. Signal conversion. Explanation. Signals like sound are often converted to digital form for processing. Example, when recording music, a microphone, analog signal, converts sound to a digital format for editing on a computer. Amplifiers functions. Functions. Explanation. Amplifiers make weak signals stronger while maintaining accuracy. Example, a microphone at a concert uses an amplifier so the singer's soft voice can fill the stadium. Types. Voltage. Amplifiers. Example, inside your television, voltage amplifiers boost the signal for the display screen. Current amplifiers. Example, hearing aids use current amplifiers to increase the current feeding the tiny speaker. Power amplifiers. Example, a car stereo has a power amplifier to drive the speakers loudly without distortion. Characteristics. Explanation. Gain is how much an amplifier increases the signal, expressed in decibels for easy comparison. Example, Turning up the volume on a speaker increases gain. A gain of 20 dB doubles the loudness. Frequency response. Explanation. Amplifiers work better within certain frequency ranges. Example. A bass speaker, subwoofer, amplifies low frequencies, 20 to 200 Hz, while tweeters amplify high frequencies, 220 kHz. Circuit models. Simplified models. Explanation. Circuit models let us simplify complex systems. Example. A flashlight circuit can be modeled as a battery, source, and resistor, load, to study how brightness changes with battery voltage. Cascaded amplifiers. Explanation. Combining multiple amplifiers for specific needs. Example. In a DJ's sound system, one amplifier boosts the signal, and another increases the power to drive large speakers. Practical examples. Voltage divider. Explanation. Calculates how much of a signal gets to the next stage of a circuit. Example. Adjusting a dimmer switch for a light bulb is like setting up a voltage divider. Decibels. Explanation. A logarithmic scale to measure gains. An example. When an audio engineer says, turn up the mic by 3D, they mean to double the power. Single time constant STC networks. Explanation. Models simple circuits with one reactive component capacitor or inductor, and one resistor. Example. A treble control on a stereo is a high-pass filter, an STC circuit, that lets higher frequencies through while reducing bass. Now let's go over some formulas seen in this chapter and key ideas. Hail amplifiers. Classified by function. Voltage amplifier. Increases voltage. Current amplifier. Increases current. Power amplifier. Drives high power loads. Frequency response. Amplifiers are limited by bandwidth and frequency roll-offs. Use filters to shape signals for desired frequency ranges. And cascaded amplifiers. Stages work together for optimal input resistance, gain, and output driving capability. How these formulas and ideas can help. A student can use these formulas to calculate how a real amplifier behaves when connected to a source and a load. They can analyze how a signal will look after passing through a system. Concepts like gain, 
Frequency response and loading provide a foundation for designing efficient circuits.